Okay, we fixed it. Now, I need to finish um, the C sound. So, I was saying... Oh, again. I was saying that the C sound, we saw that it makes K with A, O, U. And it makes S with E and I. Now, there is one last thing. Combined with H. Sha, which means a cat, a male cat. Most of you probably know how to do the difference between s and sh. S, sh, s, s is more um, of a teeth uh, related sound. You push your tongue next to your teeth, behind your teeth, and you just push, you know, s. And sh requires the tongue to go up a little bit um, if you're coming from um, from a country um, which language has that sound that's perfect you know like English speaking people can do that because they have that sound in which you just take the T away but for countries and people who do not have that sound in their vocabulary, for instance, Greeks, they only have one. They have the S. You have to remember to make it more thick. Remember to lift your tongue a little bit towards your palate. And And it is very important that you make a difference. Because they are words, for instance... Sha means cat. Sa means his or hers. Sa means this. Of course, these sound the same. But we will see how we can uh, make the difference when we speak. It's in the context. But this and this does not sound the same. Okay, I just did a hashtag. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, I'm going to wrap it up with this one. And uh, we're going to start looking at some words together. And see how well you can now read. Based on everything you've learned um, during these lessons. Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs>